I'm the operator with my pocket calculator. Yeah, I remember. In this year that we have now declared the year from Shogun to Raygun, I remember what I said about Raygun. Meant it. Acted like an actor. Hollywood. Acted like a liberal. Acted like General Franco when he acted like governor of California. Then he acted like a Republican. Then he acted like somebody was going to vote for him for president. And now we act like 26% of the registered voters is actually a mandate. All actors in this, I suppose. What has happened is that in the last 20 years, America has changed from a producer to a consumer. And all consumers know that when the producer names the tune, the consumer has got to dance. The way it is. We used to be a producer, very inflexible at that, and now we are consumers and finding it difficult to understand. Natural resources and minerals will change your world. The Arabs used to be in the third world. They have bought the second world and put a firm down payment on the first one. Controlling your resources will control your world. This country has been surprised by the way the world looks now. They don't know if they want to be Matt Dillon or Bob Dillon. They don't know if they want to be diplomats or continue the same policy of nuclear nightmare diplomacy. John Foster Dulles ain't nothing but the name of an airport now. The idea concerns the fact that this country wants nostalgia. They want to go back as far as they can, even if it's only as far as last week. Not to face now or tomorrow, but to face backwards. 
And yesterday was the day of our cinema heroes riding to the rescue at the last possible moment. The day of the man in the white hat or the man on the white horse. Or the man who always came to save America at the last moment. Someone always came to save America at the last moment. Especially in B-movies. And when America found itself having a hard time facing the future, they looked for people like John Wayne. But since John Wayne was no longer available, they settled for Ronald Reagan. And it has placed us in a situation that we can only look at like a B-movie. Come with us back to those inglorious days when heroes weren't zeros. Before fair was square, when the cavalry came straight away and all American men were like Hemingway days of the wondrous B-movie. The producer, underwritten by all the millionaires necessary, will be cast with the defensive wine bar. No more animated choice is available. The director will be Attila the Hague, running around frantically declaring himself in control and in charge. The ultimate realization of the inmates taking over at the asylum. The screenplay will be adapted from the book called Voodoo Economics by George Papadoc Bush. Music by the village people, the very military, macho man. A theme song for saber rattling and selling wars door to door. Remember, we're looking for the closest thing we can find to John Wayne. Cliches abound like kangaroos, courtesy of some spaced out Marlon Perkins, a ray gun contemporary. Cliches like itchy trigger finger and tall in the saddle and riding off or on into the sunset. Cliches like get off of my planet by sundown. More so than cliches like he died with his boots on. Marine tough to manage, Bogart tough to manage, Cagney tough to manage, Hollywood tough to manage, cheap steak tough, and Bonzo substantial. The ultimate synthetic selling, a Madison Avenue masterpiece, a miracle, a cotton candy politician. Presto, macho. Put your orders in America, and quick as Kodak, your leaders duplicate with the accent being on the dupes. Because all of a sudden we have fallen prey to selective amnesia, remembering what we want to remember and forgetting what we choose to forget. All of a sudden the man who called for bloodbaths on our college campuses is supposed to be Dudley goddamn do right. You go give them liberals hell, Ronnie. That was the mandate to the new Captain Bly on the new ship of fools. It was doubtlessly based on his career and performance in the past as a liberal Democrat, as the head of the Studio Actors Guild. When other celluloid saviors were cringing in terror from McCarthy, Ron stood tall. It goes all the way back from Hollywood to Hillbilly, from liberals to libelists, from Bonzo to Birch Idol, born again. Civil rights, women's rights, gay rights, it's all wrong. Call in the cavalry to disrupt this perception of freedom gone wild. God damn it, first one wants freedom, then the whole damn world wants freedom. No sound, that's what we want. The good old days, when we gave them hell. When the buck stopped somewhere and you could still buy something with it. To a time when movies was in black and white, and so was everything else. Even if you go back to the campaign trail, before Six Gun Ron shot off his face and developed hoof and mouth. Before the free press went down before full court press and were reluctant to view the menu because they knew the only thing available was Crow, Lion Cheney, our man of a thousand faces. No match for Ron. Doug Henning does the makeup. Special effects from Grecian Formula 16 and Crazy Glue. Transportation furnished by the David Rockefeller Remote Control Company. Their slogan is, why wait for 1984? You can panic now and avoid the rush. So much for the good news. Wall Street goes, so goes the nation. And here's a look at the closing numbers. Racism is up. Human rights are down. Peace is shaky. War items are hot. The house cleans all times. Jobs are down. Money is scarce. And common sense is at an all time low and heavy trading. Movies were looking better than ever, and now no one is looking because we're starring in a B movie. And we would rather have John Wayne. We would rather have. You don't need to check on how you feel. Just keep repeating that none of this is real. Well, you don't need to check on how you feel. Just keep repeating that none of this is real. And this is sensitive. That something's wrong. Well, just remember that it won't be too long.
for the direction of the scene.